Greetings from Penang Batik Factory. Welcome all Motorola team building event participants. Penang Batik Factory established since 1973, the true cottage industry of Penang. Manufacturing of traditional batik. It is situated at Pelobahang, north of Penang Island. Many centuries ago, the Indians, Egyptians, Europeans and the Chinese traders sailed to this region to trade for spice. The Indians and Chinese artisan introduced the resist printing technique to the people of Indonesia. The printing method used wax or rice paste to apply to decorate beautiful motif on the cloth before dyeing it. The people quickly learned the technique and name it batik. Indonesia has incorporated their traditional designs and their influence on the batik in this region. The technique was quickly embraced by ancient Malay in the northern part of Malaya. Malaysia batik, through creativity and innovation, use a modern art form contemporary approach with new styles and brilliant colours. COVID-19 has a very big impact on the party industry. We lost 95% of our revenue, 70% of our business depend on foreign tourists, and the remaining 30% on hotels, uniform events, souvenirs, and local tourism. Now we await the return of tourism activities, DIY workshops, tours for visitors can be resumed to promote the traditional art and our business. Now I'm going to show you the block printing process. We're using the block to print, block by block, we join the pattern and you have the pattern on both sides. After this, we will uh, dye the material for the colour. Wax part will not take the colour, and wax part takes the colour. So this is repeated until we get the final colours. Then we will boil off the wax and that will be the finish. Now I'm going to show you a sample swatches here. This is the first waxing. Yeah. Dye the first colour in green. That is the second waxing. That wax will retain colour green. We we'll dye the next colour in a dark green. And uh, we boil off the wax. Wax removed and this is the finished product. Now this is another way of doing the batik. This is the hand drawing. We use this little instrument to draw with wax. The person who draws must have a sturdy hand, good eyes. The very important thing is the temperature of the wax. So the person who draws must adjust yeah, to the right temperature so that you can draw smoothly. Now after the drawing of the wax, where we're going to hand paint yeah, the colours. And as we uh, paint on it, the fibre of the cloth will absorb the dye, little bit of uh, colours. You can use two or three colours to blend uh, from dark to light colours to get the colour shading. So to dilute the colour, all we do is use some water. Yeah? Water will lighten the colour and that's how we get the colour shading. Look at that beautiful, brilliant colours being used for the pattern. So when this is ready, yeah. we will uh, leave it to dry. Yeah. We will boil off the wax, remove the wax from the cloth, and that will be the finished product. 